All right, here are the two left uh, leftover basement kitties. We started with four. Uh, Lucy, Lily, Frankie, and Tommy. The girls both got adopted and went home and are doing great. And the boys have been really slow to, to come around. Um, right now I've paired them together. They, I do see them sleeping together near each other a lot. They both have enormous uh, purrs. You can hear Frankie. Um, they're both just kind of bums. I mean, they, they are, I guess, I guess really a little bit traumatized still, or very traumatized still from this six months basement experience without people. Um, what they need is one or two people who wants to do nothing but snuggle them. Um, repeated, repeated snuggling and cuddling and loving and kissing and adoring and petting. I mean, there's not an uh, ounce of aggression or crabbiness in these cats, um, but they just need tons of reassurance. Once upon a time, they were fine. They were fine, normal um, cats. And after this experience, um, they, it really took its toll. And so we need to get them back to, you know, status quo to where they were being fine, normal, great cats. And they are going to be great cats. Um, and they are great cats. Uh, but they have had, you know, for, a, for an involved, people-oriented, loyal, connected, devoted cats such as the Siamese to be, you know, left in basement situation for six months without people interaction, you know, this has really, really taken its toll on these two boys. The boys are typically more sensitive than the girls in my experience. So one to two people, quiet home, um, no kids, people who really want to devote a lot of Time, cuddling, snuggling, reassuring, and loving, they will soak it up. So there's no question that they're not going to be lab cats and soak it up. You have to go get them, though, and you have to continually, so what I call tough love, which is, come on, we're not going to hide under the couch or behind the pillows or whatever. We're going to sit on my lap and, and you know, be loved. And, and they just purr and they roll over and they show you belly and they absolutely adore every second of it. Um, and then they hear anyway, and this is far from a home environment, but here, then they go back to this sort of withdrawn mode. And uh, there just isn't enough time to continually do the type of hands-on that they both really need. Um, I'm really anxious to see them go home because I really think they will be fantastic, great cats. And somebody is going to get um, a wonderful, wonderful pair of cats. But like anything in life, you have to work a little bit for it. Um, I don't think it's that um, long a time. And come on, it's not that difficult to sit with cats purring on your lap. But you have to be consistent and you have to do it. So I hope these, there's an adopter out there for these two lovely, lovely boys.